Hello there, wonderful world of YouTube. Thank you guys for joining me for yet another video. In the, today's video, we're going to go ahead and focus on a pen I've had in my collection for a while now, and that is going to be Ferris Will Presses, the Brush Fountain Pen. They do have two different versions of the same pen, and that's only the difference, or the main difference is what I mean to say, is the nib itself. One of them, which is the one I have currently, is the stainless steel nib. And then the other one is, I believe, like 14 karat gold dipped. So it's not like a 100% gold nib. It's like dipped into gold. But we're going to go ahead and look into this one. Honestly, this was actually, I believe, the product that got me into Ferris Wheel Press. Because when I started getting into fountain pens and watching tons of videos on it, uh, they were, I believe they were like somewhat kind of barely they're rolling these out or bringing a lot of attention to these because I saw a lot of their ambassadors promoting this particular pen. Not necessarily this color, just the brush pen itself. So I had been eyeing it for a really long time and then they, last year during Black Friday, they tossed out a really good sale and I went, I caved and I bought it. I was like, yes, added it to my collection. <laughs> As always, something that Ferris Wheel Press exceeds at is beautiful presentation. The box itself has such a nice, like, soft finish. The box did come a little bit dinged up from, like, chipping, but that's okay. It has, you know, like, the gold. I think this would be considered embossing. And then the name of the color of the pen, which in this case is Lady Rose. And, and it, the particular pen I have is in the satin finish. And then, again, like... It just feels luxury. And you open it and you have right history with the little, again, another cute little gold accent. Your pen comes encased in like a velvet like pouch with the little Canadian leaf at the end, which is very, you know, I think it's a very cute touch because it is a Canadian based company. And then. Again, like you're just going to slip her off and you have your very beautiful pen present. Now, something I kind of do like about it is even though it looks a little bit like skinny, it does have you know, a weight to it, especially like around the area where you're going to be writing with. That probably has a lot to do with the fact that this is a brass nugget. And when you open the pen, and we're going to go ahead and uncap it right now, if I'm not mistaken, it is also brass lining. So let me go ahead and double check that. Alright, so yeah, the grip itself is brass, so this would be the grip. And the whole body itself, from what the website says, is full copper, which is pretty nice. And then I'm going to guess it's just the matte satin enamel coating is what goes over the copper so that's what gives the pen its nice beautiful uniform finish which is something I do appreciate because um I know I wasn't aware of this before but copper and brass tend to patina which means over time because this is you know exposed to like your bodily oil like you know your oils like you know air and all this stuff this might actually change color so it might not stay this beautiful like clear gold looking thing and a con that I'm gonna get into right now is that because it is brass slash copper your hands will smell like you've been touching pennies or coins after you write with it even if you just like kind of put it like that but uh, you know what I mean it's <laughs> you're writing with it and it's gonna you're gonna smell your fingers afterwards and it's gonna smell like keys or coins or whatever the case is which isn't a complete turn off for me because despite the fact that I had a not so great first impression with the carousel pen in fine, I, I went ahead and still purchased this in fine. So this nib itself is in fine. And this is a much smoother writing experience, at least in my humble opinion. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit more just to keep the pen the main focus of the video if you are someone that likes to post the pen this might not be the pen for you because the brass nugget can scratch the satin finish I you know I haven't come across that but I'm pretty sure 
if you're not too careful and you're trying to write like this or if you push it in too much you're gonna scratch the finish and it's gonna ruin the pen or at least not ruin it but it'll definitely give it signs of wear and tear so if you're someone that likes to keep your pens looking as new as possible like you know despite like you know heavy use I would not recommend capping this pen at least not with its cap because again this finish can scratch the satin or whatever finish it is because I know they have the glossy ones as well uh, I have mentioned the carousel pens briefly I have two but the one that I have currently on hand is this one in vanilla so the carousel pens from Ferris Wheel Press are their starter pens I would say they retail for about $25 starting these are made out of a, an acrylic body so it's mostly like more plastic than not plastic and if I'm not mistaken their nibs are just made out of steel I don't think it's that doesn't specify whether it's stainless steel or not on the website it just says steel as opposed to this one where it does specify that it is stainless steel so maybe that has something to do with the reason why the fine in this one writes a lot smoother than the fine in this one did for me I will say this though this one is in a medium and this was my workhorse so much so that I don't know how I even managed it but I cracked the body on this one don't know how I don't even know if you can see it oh yeah it's like right here I don't know if it'll focus let's see maybe if I get a little it's like right here where I cracked the body you guys can see a little bit so sometimes when I'm trying to open it it'll open like this and I just kind of have to like maneuver the other part out but I have a replacement on the way which is great love the pen again it's like one of my always inked or was until it cracked a little sad but no worries they listened to their customers feedback in regards to this pen and they made a new edition of the carousel pen where the body is more reinforced so I guess it's a stronger acrylic so we won't come across the cracking as often at least I hope because that's one of the pens I have on the way is their new version of that but moving back to the main one so this one retails for about $97 starting if you have an ambassador code you can potentially get these um, get these for 10% off my code in particular which is swim only gets you a free ink charger set with your purchase so if you were to buy this you can choose any charger set of your choice and you would get that for free which in that case would be technically be like a $15 discount because that's around what the ink charger sets retail for and I will post a quick disclaimer I actually purchased this pen like I said before with my own money this was not sent to me for free I just felt like let's go ahead and share my experiences with it I've been writing with this pen for a couple of weeks now it's going really strong like I said before it's very smooth like let me see if I can get like a little notebook out here can't go wrong with Tomoe Riba and we're just gonna go ahead and take like another patch and as you can see it's on the go it's been on cap for a bit because I've been doing the video and it's not even a hard start it's straight to work no issues no skipping overall I really do enjoy the writing experience of this pen And I'm so glad that I was able to purchase this when it went on sale. Because who doesn't love a good sale, right? Now, this pen is currently inked with Birmingham Pen Cove uh, Terracotta. So it's like a pinky color. I thought it would match the pen really well. And it kind of does, except this one's a little bit more on the red or like the warmer side than the body of this is. But overall, not a bad pick. Um, very curious to see how this pen will do with shimmer but I wouldn't be too surprised if it does act perform fairly well because 
you know, Ferris wheel press does release a lot of shimmers, so I would expect their pens to work very well with shimmers. And when you do pry the pen, it does come with a converter. So Ferris wheel includes Fer Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel press does include the converter with your pen purchase, as you can see here. Some of their converters, like the one that I have in the medium nib, has a little ball on the inside that you can use to agitate the shimmer. I don't want to shake the pen up too much, but I'm pretty sure this one does too. But, again, this comes with your purchase of the pen. If not, you can purchase, I believe they come in packs of two for like $6 or 10 all right, we are back to regular scheduled programming. My apologies, I had a bit of a coughing fit, so I did go ahead and just skip that bit in the video, and we're gonna go probably to the end thoughts on this very beautiful pen. Uh, I would say pros, in my personal opinion, are the aesthetic. It is very nice, like I said, very smooth to the touch beautiful writer the fine nib is not so fine to where it feels scratchy against the paper the copper nugget makes it to where I can set it down and it is not gonna move so it's not gonna like roll away granted if you have it uncapped and you take it it could potentially roll away maybe if I put it somewhere flatter and <laughs> there it goes right the other one is the beautiful designs because sometimes I don't know about you guys but when I'm writing with a pen that just looks nice it makes me feel nice and fancy on the inside it's just a pleasure to write with something that you know you find very pleasing to write with for lack of better words the amount of detail that they put into their packaging is quite outstanding you know it has the Ferris wheel press logo here again the Canadian leaf it makes it to where it's really easy to identify the size of the nib by putting it in the I guess what what is it the grip itself right here and even then you have like made in Canada a lot of engravings within the barrel again very stunning stunning packaging let's move into some of the cons well one of them for me would be again the fact that my Pants tend to smell like quarters after I'm done using it. Uh, the thing about the engravings here is that if you're not quick to take the ink off after you ink it, they could put the ink itself could potentially dry within the engraving. Not that that's a bad thing. I think it adds character to the pen, if anything. But you know, some people might not like that. So again, if you're gonna ink this, make sure you wipe it down like right afterwards. And the other one is that you can't cap the pen. I do tend to like to write with pens that are capped. And I really would not want to risk ruining the finish of the, the pen itself. And the last one for me would be the fact that this pen might actually patina. Which again means this is going to change colors. I've had other brass products like the Caveco Brass Clip. Which literally within like weeks it patinaed. And I was like what? Why did you do that? But after looking into it more, I realized why it happened in science, people. Science is why it happened. <laughs> Alright, but other than that, overall, I feel like if you can get this pen on sale or even using, uh, like I said before, uh, Ambassador's Code that has 10% off, I think it's very much worth the investment. It is a beautiful writer, smooth, it's something that you can add in your collection that, again, it's nice to the view. It does make you feel a little bit fancy because it does actually feel like a brush pen. Like if you get like a painter's pen, not a painter's pen, like a paintbrush, it does kind of simulate the feel of it. It's weird, <laughs> like if I can say that, because it's light, like here, but it's heavy where you're writing at it, so it does give you like... Like, you know, you're you're confident when you're writing in it. You don't think, like, it's not going to be, like, you're, like, and then it's going to, like, slip out of your hand because it's not. All right. So now let's go ahead and skip into our final thoughts about the pen. Is this a pen I would recommend? Yes, I would wholeheartedly. I wish I could speak. I would wholeheartedly recommend this pen to anybody that enjoys writing with fountain pens. Honestly, it's very smooth. 
Um, the stainless steel nib, in my experience, and this particular one, which is fine, has not had a hard start, does not feel scratchy, and has not skipped while writing. The ink flows very nicely through the pen. Uh, things that I like about it, in particular, again, it's like the feel of it, where even though the pen itself is like light overall, you feel the weight where you're writing, so when it's resting on your hands, you feel comfortable. It doesn't feel like the pen is gonna like do 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 like you know slip out of your hand. Like you're gonna have one dramatic wave and the pen's gonna go flying. No, it's like very weighted. If you're someone that's on the fence about the pen, I would recommend either using an ambassador code that gets you 10% off. I'll list some of the ones that I know down below in case you would like to support one of those creators. Or waiting for Ferris Wheel Press to toss out sales. They do tend to toss out sales whenever they have like the bigger releases. Sometimes they'll do the thing where they give you the free, the free ink charger set as well. But when we get really lucky, we get like, you know, percentages off of our um, purchase. If you purchase through their website, they also now launched a reward system. So based off of like basically how much you spend is the rewards you get. Depending on the like, you know, the number of rewards you have. I've seen that this, I think even the brush pens are offered as rewards, but you just have to have a hefty amount of points to get there, which makes sense because the pen, like I said, retails for over $90. So, you know, I would say support there. Or I usually like to shop anywhere that, that offer rewards just because I feel like you get, you know, double the return because I'm buying it. But then if I accumulate more points, I can get more things for free. It's, it's a never-ending cycle over here on this side, you guys. It's a never-ending cycle. <laughs> but to keep it short, yes, I would recommend the pen. If you guys want a 10% off code, I'll list a couple of them from ambassadors down below. If you guys would like to get a free ink charger set, which if ink charger set is just a set of inks that come in this little thing. They're a pack of three. So you get three colors. This one, if I'm not mistaken, is the New York, New York, which was like a, a few releases ago. But again, these retail for 15 bucks. so if you use code SWIM, you can get one of these of your choice for free with the purchase of your Ferris wheel pen. Quick disclaimer, I do. As I was saying... <laughs> But disclaimer, I do get a small commission if you guys do use my code. That commission does support this channel and my stationary obsession. As you guys have seen, I do own quite a bit of it. So I do appreciate anybody that uses my code. Again, that's going to be code SWIM to get a free ink charger set with your purchase. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I don't want my ring light to attack me a third time. So we're going to go ahead and say bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. If you guys would like to see a more in-depth look of the newer carousel pen, let me know. I do have the updated or the redone version or like the 2.0 carousel coming in. Once I get that in, I would love to do a comparison video if that's something you guys would like to watch. But other than that, thank you again. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.